name's Anna Vignoles and I'm a professor of education, originally an economist. Uh, I work at the University of Cambridge and I'm also a Nuffield trustee. We fund research that we hope will improve people's lives and particularly fund research that can improve the social and the economic inclusion and well-being of citizens. Uh, we fund research into institutions, into the way the state works. Uh, we fund research that can help improve uh, the lives of the poorest in our society and uh, those who are disadvantaged in a multitude of different ways. So in education we are increasingly able to use fantastic data to better understand the education system and Nuffield has uh, funded in recent years a, a suite of research uh, programs that have really helped us understand how the education system works. But there's an awful lot more that we need to be doing in this space. First and foremost we still need to do rigorous research into what actually works in the classroom, what can make a practical difference to children's lives as they uh, develop either in preschool and as they go through the school system. And for that we need a research that is both applied but also well founded in good theory that can help us really get a grip on what it is that we need to be doing to improve children's lives. So I think that's the first thing, that the priority is to, to, to fund research that uh, focus on the practical and ways in which we can actually improve schools and improve teaching. Um, the other areas that we think that we need to be doing more in are around teachers and teaching quality. We know that teachers make a huge difference to children's lives and to their academic achievement and their non-academic outcomes. And we also know that the poorest children in our society benefit the most from high quality teaching. So really there's a lot of work to be done to understand how it is that we can have a system with very high quality teaching where we retain the best teachers in the system and ensure that children from all backgrounds have access to good quality teaching. The other area that we think is under-researched at the moment is the part of the education system that again the most deprived students tend to, to pass through which is uh, vocational routes and further education and uh, historically there's been an awful lot more research done on routes into higher education uh, but we're recognising that with the, the level of inequality that we have in our society and the relationship between education and inequality it's crucial that we have good robust evidence on what is happening for the 50% who are not going to university. Another really important uh, priority area for us is the earliest years of children's lives. We already have some good evidence from various sources that the early years make a huge difference to children's outcomes, but we need to do far more to understand what it is that really makes for a good quality uh, early years experience for children and how we in particular can help children in the most uh, disadvantaged circumstances really overcome those barriers and come into school ready to learn and hopefully stay on the trajectories that can help them succeed in the education system. The Nuffield Foundation has a, a long history actually of funding research both into curriculum development and into understanding the skills needs of the current labour market and more broadly understanding what kinds of skills young people, children need to succeed in life generally. Um, and we're very interested in continuing research in that, particularly given the changing demands of the labour market. So we know that young people are going to have to have a different set of skills, if you like, to uh, equip them for life in you know, the modern labour market. But it also relates to some of the more direct ways in which the Nuffield Foundation help young people. For example, we have two programmes. The first is the, the Nuffield Research Placements Programme, which is around giving young people uh, an opportunity to work in a research environment, in a professional environment, um, and give them experience largely of science or technology, engineering, uh, but increasingly also of, of social science research environments. Um, the other programme that we have is uh, our QSTEP programme, which is very much focused on giving young people the opportunity to develop quantitative skills as an undergraduate when they're doing degrees in social science. And that we, are, we think is very important because increasingly our social scientists, uh, both in research and in the labour market, need those quantitative skills. And the Nuffield Foundation has been investing in programmes in a number of universities to try and help people develop those skills. So first and foremost, Nuffield funds really high quality research. We have an extremely rigorous peer review process. We're extremely grateful to the support we get from our referees. Um, and ultimately, uh, an application uh, will uh, succeed on the basis of its intellectual rigor. 
and that means that, that the research design is, is, is core to that. But we are really trying to make a difference to people's lives and that means we are very interested in achieving impact. So a practical orientation or at least an, a clear understanding of how the research might in the long run help improve people's lives is, is really core to that. And obviously the usual things about uh, grants being well managed, thinking about having sufficient resource to do the kind of impact work that you want to do, these are all parts of what would make a, a good application. Uh, but ultimately, as I said at the beginning, we are interested in funding the highest quality research um, and as such we, we welcome ideas that are innovative and rigorous.